Namaste student. Here we have two problems related to equilibrium division lemma and uh, based on your linear combination of two number. So let's see. Here we have find the HCF of 65 and 117 and express it in the form of 65M plus 117N. Here M or N are integer. Second question. Find the HCF of 81 and 237 and express it as a linear combination of 81 and 237 that means both are same here but the different style they are asking here so before proceeding let me tell you one uh, important thing that m and n are must be opposite sign number that means if it is m is positive then n must be negative if n is negative m must be positive okay so here also you can write here x and y you can take it as x and y and if x is positive then y must be negative if x is negative then y must be positive so here uh, to find the linear combination to get the linear combination or linear form or this type of form we need first our target to get our hcf using equal division lemma so now to have this form this is our target we need this form to get the linear combination so how are you going to do so your first step give a name number one equation one and equation two avoid the last one where you have a remainder zero will not take that one okay now from uh, now we'll go reverse direction that one two now we'll start from the two one and here if we'll go for one two three and will not take this one as remainder is zero. So we'll start three, two, and then one, and we'll get our target. So, so here the first from two, from two, what we need to get, we need to write that HCF. So you can see that our HCF is which one? HCF is 13, that means this one, this B is our, 13 is our HCF, and we need to keep our 13 in the form of 65 M and 117 N so here we have 13 so from 2 what we'll do we'll keep our 13 this side this side minus 52 into 1 no need to multiply here keep it the same now next step what we're going to do we'll change this remainder so remainder is 52 look at here 52 so what we're going to do we'll keep this part 13 remain same so here 65 will remain same so 52 can be written from your number 1 that means 117 minus if we'll take this 65 into 1 so what we're going to do instead of 52 we can write here 117 minus 65 into 1 65 into 1 and there is a into 1 it may be 2 3 anything we can keep here but for 1 if you'll write or not write no matter so here 65 minus 1 into this one so we'll get here 117 only and minus minus plus we'll get 65 into 1 that means how many times 65 so 65 into 1 and 65 into 1 that means 65 into 2 we'll get here and minus 117 so now uh, we need positive symbols so what we're going to do 65 into 2 plus 117 into minus 1 here if we see the from that is 65 m and 117 here we can see that 65 into m plus 117 n where your m equals to 2 and n equals to minus 1 so here let's proceed for the second one and we'll try to understand quite in deep form let's see so that is three we need our answer that is your hcf you can see that your hcf is three so we'll take our three so from three hcf can be written as 75 minus you take this one this side that is minus six into 12 this is from three you need to mention from this side that uh, from which uh, we have written this one so we need to mention from one in the bracket similarly next step our target 75 see here in the both case we are getting 75 and the 6 now we will say that's a shall I keep your 75 here and 6 this side no 
as you can see that's for 75 we'll get from here but from this equation we'll not get 6 so our target remainder always remainder okay like this this is our target so we'll replace the remainder with the help of this two so here your 6 is a remainder for from the second equation so we'll change here so we what we, we can write here 81 minus 75 instead of 6 we can write 81 minus 75 into 1 and outside is 12 we'll keep it here 12 now make it a expanded form so minus 81 into 12 minus minus plus 75 into here one is there so we'll get 75 into 12 do not multiply okay keep it here so here 1 times 75 here 12 times 75 that means 13 times 75 and here we have minus 81 into 12 times so next our target to change that is a 75 so we'll replace 75 with the help of this two so what we can write 237 minus 81 into 2 from 1 so here we have applied from equation 2 so we'll write here from 2 next 75 will break that means 237 minus 81 into 2 instead of 75 we'll write here and 13 is outside so keep it this one same minus 81 into 12 so here we are getting that is 237 into 13 and plus minus minus 81 into you multiply with this 2 not 81 because our target is 81 and 237 will not do anything with 81 and 37 237 so 13 into 2 that is 26 and here we are getting minus 81 into 12 so here 237 into 13 so minus minus will give you plus so minus 81 so if we'll do here addition that is 2 into this is your 38 we keep in the positive form so 237 into 13 plus 81 into minus 38 so if we we'll compare here 237 m plus 81 n where m equals to 13 and n equals to minus 38 this way we'll present our answer you can see here thank you